In this demo, we'll be learning how to embed a YouTube video inside of a div tag on our web page. And I think for this one, I'm actually going to start a brand new site and just start from scratch with respect to building a simple one page website here. Uh, so I'm going to go up to my site, new site, and I already created a folder with some subfolders in it. So I'm just going to call this one YouTube embed and search for that folder that I've already created. So I have a folder here with various assignments and I created one called root YouTube. And if I look inside, I do have an empty CSS folder and an empty images folder. So I'd like you to do the same for yours. So select the uh, root folder layer and click choose. And that will establish a location on our computer that will act as our root folder and we'll read it again through the files panel. So what I'll do is I'll start by creating my first page. We'll just go file new. And we'll just make it a basic HTML and I'll give the page a title from here. I could have done it later as well. I'll just call it YouTube demo. There we go. And click create. And now I have a blank page. But if you look over in your files, and this is critical always, uh, save your file immediately because you see it actually doesn't exist here yet. It's in the memory. It's ready to be saved, but it has not been saved the first time yet. So let's go file save. You could do save as as well, I suppose, but this is a first save and it asks you to save it where if you're not sure, click site root that guarantees you're actually in your root directory and it's safely saved inside of your website area. So I'm just going to call this one youtube.html and save it again at the root level of my directory and click save. Now that I've done that, I should be able to see it over here in my files panel. And very importantly, now that it exists and has a location in the root, any links that we potentially would create on this page would be relative to the root folder and would be well, they would just work everywhere that that root folder went. Okay, so I'm going to go up here and choose a split screen right now. And I'm going to stay on the design mode for now. I don't think it matters too much whether you're on design or live, but I'm going to remain on design. Okay, so I can see some of my basic code here and my empty design area. And there goes a motorcycle. <laughs> Anyhow, let's create a div tag here. I can create a div tag by either going to the insert menu up here or once again the insert tab over here. I'm going to click on files here so I can keep sight of this and I'm going to choose insert from up here which both would get you this dialog box ultimately. And now what I need to do is decide do I want to create a new style sheet or link this to an existing one. Now, I don't have an existing one, so I'm just going to create a new one. And I want this div tag to be an ID. So I'm going to go down here, and I see there are none available currently. So I'll go new CSS rule to create a new ID. So up at the top here, we choose from our different selector types, and we choose ID. Give it a name. I'm going to call it YouTube. Hit my tab key. And then at the bottom, very importantly, because you can embed CSS inside of your page, but as a best practice, I'd like you to create a new style sheet and save it in that CSS folder. So it'll be an external style sheet. We'll go new style sheet. And once I click OK, it's going to prompt me to save that style sheet and to name it. So I've asked it to create an ID by the name of YouTube inside of an, a new style sheet that will be saved where I designate it now. So I'm going to go inside of the CSS folder and I'll just call this, uh, I'll call it YouTube as well. It'll be end up being YouTube.CSS and click save. And then it prompts me with this dialog box to start to apply properties. So I'm going to apply two sets of properties. One will be positioning and I will put a border on it as well. Any of these properties can be changed and adjusted after they're created. All right, so I'm going to assign absolute as the position. And just for now, I'm just going to say a width, I'll say, uh, let's say 600 pixels wide by 400 pixels high. And as I said, I can change these later, but for now, that's a decent starting point. And positioning on the page, 
I'm just going to go top and left. So I'll say from the top, I'll say 50 pixels from the top. And let's just say 50 pixels from the left for now. This can also be changed after we see it on the page. Okay, so there's my positioning. Now I'm just going to go over to the border category and assign a solid border. And I'll make it a medium width. I could assign precise pixels as well or different units of measure. And for color, I do have some colors that I previously saved. Let's just make this obvious and choose the red and hit your return key to accept that. And these are all set the same for all, meaning all four sides. And I can click OK now. That's all I want to apply. And once I click OK here, you can see that it automatically shows YouTube in my ID now as my choice. I click OK and it gets generated on the screen. I would say right now do a save all, which will save all of these properties because all of that stuff is all in your style sheet. If I click up here on the tabs, all of that information is right here inside of the style sheet, not embedded in the HTML code. So the next thing I want to do, speaking of embedded, is actually go out to a browser, go to YouTube, and pull out the embed code that is provided by YouTube and put it on my HTML page. And I'm going to replace this placeholder text with the embed code when I get it. Okay, so let's go out. I already have my browser open on YouTube. So I'm just going to go down to a video here. This happens to be my music page. And let's see here. I've got a song by Santana that I do. Let me click on that. And I'm just going to hit the pause button here. And the way you get the code from YouTube is when you go to a video, you'll see below the video there's a share button. You click on the share button and it pops open a, a window and you have various choices to share. Choose embed and that will pop open this dialog box and the best thing to do, you can scroll down here just to see what you have as choices but leave it as is at the default and just simply click copy. You could have highlighted it and copied it as well, but that ensures that you actually get all the text. I'm just going to close that and go back to Dreamweaver. And inside of my code view, I'm going to highlight that text and replace it with a paste. And if I click away here, there is my video right there. So I can see in the code that the video happens to be 560 by 315 pixels wide. It makes sense to make the border the same size as the video. So I have two ways of doing this. I can either enlarge the video or shrink the border. I think in this case I'm actually going to bring the video up to size. So if I actually click on this little box up here for a second, that highlights the div tag in my properties. And if you don't see properties down here, you should go to window and call up properties and it may float and you can nest it or you can keep it floating. Okay, but the point here is I can see the properties for that div tag that are from my CSS file. So I could go in here and change the properties of the border here. Now, as I said, I'd like to actually change the properties of the video itself. So I'm going to click on the video in the screen here. And now I'm highlighting it in the code view. And I'm just going to change these numbers. Oh, I remember. I wanted to double check the sizes over here. It is 600 wide by 400 high. So let's go back here. And we want to match those numbers. So for width, I'm just going to go 600 there by 400 wide. Now this may distort. That's the only thing here. So let's just, oh, let me, I shouldn't have hit the, my tab key there. Let me just click that and do a save all. And I'm just going to preview this using the preview button over here. And I already have Firefox open. So there we go. And there's my video sized to fit the div tag with the red border. So at this point I could click play and we can indulge ourselves here and listen to some music. But I'm going to hit pause here and just go back to Dreamweaver. 
And uh, basically that's it. It's that simple. You're, you're basically uh, stealing, not stealing, but uh, copying some code that is officially available to you from YouTube. And you're embedding it inside of your own HTML code on your web page. Now, just for fun, I'm going to see if Live Preview will allow me to play it in the window. I'm actually not sure. Uh, let's find out here. And apparently so, which is cool. So if I just uh, turn off Split View and go to Live. So you can actually test it right inside of Dreamweaver, it seems like. And there we go. So I'd like you to create uh, something like this today with a video of your choosing and uh, just zip up your root folder and hand that into Blackboard. And that's our lesson on how to embed a YouTube video inside of a div tag on a web page, again using CSS to style the div tag and locate it on the page.